So Tay, we're here. How you feeling? You know, I'm really feeling good. I'm. I love that it's in my home city, and it just feels really good. Let's go in. Super duper excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think it's gonna be great. It is. Very excited. Keep it going. Keep it going. You work through it. You find different ways, and you'll find yourself on the other side of that death. Okay, great. I can't take it. Yes! Let's do it! Let's do this! Oh, I'm excited! Guys, today I am here with fellow Latina. Yes! She is from Miami, in my hometown. Woo! She grew up here. She's a singer, songwriter, and a mega girl boss. <sighs> the incredible Camila Cabello. Oh my God, are you kidding? You're a mega girl oh, boss. Thank you so much for letting me sit down with you here at 7-Eleven. Yes. Um, at your event for your new album. This is such a cool event. It's pretty cool, right? It is. So. What is your favorite piece from your Ooh. merch? Oh, okay, okay. And I want to hear what, what you think too, but I feel like my favorite is probably this that I'm wearing right now. It looks so good on you. Thank you, because I love a hoodie. Like, I love being cozy. Yes, and an oversized. It's an, like, I love, and I can never go back to wearing, like, a regular size hoodie again. I feel like it just has to be yes, oversized. it has to be oversized. But I was going to say, I love your sense of style oh, too. thank you. I love these boots. You know, it's funny because... Right now, me and my uh, dancers are rehearsing, and we all have this thing where we all bought boots like this. Oh my gosh, really? And we all dance like in these kind of like fake fur boots. So yeah, your outfit is so cute. Oh, thank you. And my favorite is this shirt. Okay, it's cool. Camila Cabello. Oh, I love that. We gotta get. I'll get you one of these before you leave, oh, so that you have you. it. Miami culture and fashion yes. plays a lead role in your new album. Yes. So what would? What is something that you miss the most from your childhood? You know, it's funny because I was looking at your bracelets. I really, I was gonna say, I miss silly bands from my childhood. We had such a silly oh, bands. Are these yeah. what they are? These what they're called now? Silly yes. bands. Yes. Silly bands. Yeah. So we used to like trade silly bands and stuff in school. We had tamagotchis. Ooh. Do you know what tamagotchis are? No. So okay. So we had this thing where, actually, the, I remember like one time I I got in trouble because I was playing with my tamagotchi under the desk. It was like this little like electronic um like pet and you would like feed it I'll, I'll google it and then i'll show you after but it was a thing that that so you're 11 so you would be in like sixth grade yeah i'm going in six Woo! going into sixth grade yes. crazy okay so in fifth grade we had tamagotchis we had silly bands um yeah i really miss like kind of like cute little like fun stuff like that i miss like the internet games we used to play, like we used to play this game called Farmville. Ooh. I don't know, but I feel like I, I, my cousin is 11 years old and I also, I feel like I'm kind of in tune with like your guys' things. Like I feel like you guys love slime. Yes. Right? And yep. bracelets, I love bracelets. Too, yep, so. yep, yep. You guys do the bracelets, you guys do the like, um, what are those things that you like, you press? Like fidgets? Yes. Like fidgets. You guys love fidgets. We did yes. have fidgets. Um, so I miss like I miss that about about my childhood, like things like that, you know. And also like the music in that time was just like it just brings me back to that. Like school dances were so fun. I miss summer vacation. Adults don't get summer vacation. Yeah. Like are you you're on summer vacation right now? Yes, I am. You're so lucky. And I'm talking to you. I know. It's I love that. <laughs> you're sure my summer like the best summer ever. Oh, I'm so glad. I love that. So what does growing up Latina? in music mean to you? Ooh, you know, I feel like it just gives me access to so many like fun parts about being Latina, like the food, like our food is oh, so yummy and delicious. Yes. What's like your favorite like Latin food, like from like your culture that you love? Rice and beans. All rice day. and beans. All day. Like white rice, black beans. Yes. Girl, yes. 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 So I love having access to that. Whenever I feel like I'm in LA or New York and I, feel I've just had like a bad day or I'm stressed. I'm like, I need to order rice, beans, chicken, and plantains. Oh and it's just like food for the soul. I love listening to Latin music. Like I love listening to reggaeton. Yes. I love listening to like Bad Bunny, Zoom Verano, Sin yes. Ti. I love listening to Carol G. Yes. I love just being connected to all of the amazing things that our culture has to offer. I love our language. I love being a Latina. 
Yes. It's just fun. It's just extra fun. Yes. Right? Rob, your new album in three words. Okay, so my new album in three words, I would say, is lip gloss. Yes. A lot of lip gloss, like, mentioned in my album. It's a very girly album. You yes, know what I, I mean? Tell. Yeah, so lip gloss, friendship. Yes. I feel like there's a lot of, like, that theme of just, like, appreciating your friends. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, don't you, like, love your, like, your best friend? Yes. Like, I love even, like, feeling like we're friends right now. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So, yeah, friendship. And then I would say number three, I would say, is blue because... There's a lot of blue in my album, a exactly. lot of the color blue. So and I would say I, those are three words. Yes. I love the I love the three words and yes. I love the name of your new album. Thank you. Camila XOXO. Yep, that's right. And yours would be T XOXO. Yes. Taylor XOXO. That'd be dope. Yep, that'd be dope. So who's your biggest inspiration and why? Fashion inspiration. Oh, my biggest fashion inspiration. You know, I really like, like, Miami fashion. Like, I love yes. that, you know, like, it's so hot. So, like, you know, I love being able to, I feel like we dress for fun and to express ourselves. But there's exactly. also, like, to express ourselves. But then there's also, like, comfort. Like, we can't wear a lot because it's, like, it's hot. So, you know, exactly. like, I love, like, ba bathing suits yes. and putting your hair up and, yep. like, even, like, I think flip-flops are even fashionable. Yes, I think they're fashionable, too. Don't you think? Yeah, like slides. Yes, love a slide. Yes. Totally. Who's your biggest fashion inspiration? My biggest fashion inspiration? I would say Anna Wintour. Wow. Anna Wintour is a really good one. Oliver Roosting. Wow. Rihanna. Beyonce. Wow. So Those are really great ones. My top four. Yep. I love that. Oh, I love you. that. And I feel like you are you also have that, like, Anna Wintour, like, very classy, like, vibe. Oh, thank you. They I actually love. call me Mini Wintour. Wow. And that's amazing because she's a girl boss, too. So I feel like yes. you're, like, you know, that's a great girl boss to look up to. Yes. Yeah. I love that. So what is one styling tip that could work for anyone at any age? I think it's important to... Not let anybody else tell you what's cool and what's not. Exactly. I feel like fashion is so personal. I've really learned that. That it's about what makes you feel, feel good. good. Fashion is just a form of, it's another expression. expression. It's another form of having expression. fun with your life. And so nobody can tell you, you know, there's going to be one person that likes your outfit and there's going to be another person that doesn't like your outfit. Exactly. At the end of the day, what matters is that do you, you like, like your outfit. Exactly. Yes. You have to love it. If you, you have to love it. Wear it. Exactly. And do you feel good? And just like play around. How do you feel that day? And also, I think it's important. I, I actually, I realize whenever I'm having like a kind of sucky day, I really want to put on a good outfit and exactly. put on a little bit of lip gloss and some earrings and some, you know what I mean? Dress up a little bit. Dress up a little bit. It changes your mood. It changes your, your mood. mood. So that's a good styling tip for girls and boys out there. Yep. Yep. Such a good styling tip. Yep. Dress up. Celebrate being alive. Exactly. Yep. Celebrate life. Celebrate life. That's right. T-X-O-X-O. -X -O yes. And C-X-O-X-O. -X -O. Yes. Yep. So one artist advice mm. you've never forgotten and who gave it to you? Mm. That's a great question. I would say when I was, I feel like just starting... Um, actually, maybe not just starting, but I was maybe like about 16 or 17 where I met one of my songwriting heroes, Taylor Swift. Do you like Taylor Swift? Okay, you like Taylor Swift. Great. Okay, okay. I love her. Yeah, me too. So I met her and I saw, okay, so I was in my group at the time, Fifth Harmony, and we were at the VMAs and I see her and Lord sitting together and I'm like, oh my God, that's Taylor Swift. I have to go up to both of them, and I have to tell them I love them. So I went up to her and Lord, and I said, guys, I just wanted to tell you, I love you so much. I, you guys really inspire me so much. They were both so sweet. Then we go to a, there's a party after, and I see Taylor there, and at the time was when I really started getting into writing and, and songwriting. And I was having a lot of self-doubt, and I was having a hard time getting out of, kind of this creative rut where I was like 
feeling insecure and I had what, what I would say a sort of writer's block. And I was like, who is the person to ask about songwriting? Exactly. It's Taylor Swift. Yes. Right? So I was like, hey, I'm, I really, I'm, I'm so passionate about songwriting. What would you say if you're having a lot of self-doubt and you feel a little stuck? And she gave me some great advice. She said, you know what? When that happens to me, I just, I don't even know if she remembers it was so long ago. But she said, when that happens to me, just keep writing through it. Just keep doing it. Just keep writing. Don't stop. Don't freeze. And I think that's really great advice because yes. I feel like sometimes, you know, self-doubt or insecurity kind of like freezes us, right? And yes. you're like, and you're like, and you're like, what do I do? You're like, what do I do? And you're like, how am I going to, I have to stop. I have to figure this out and I have to feel amazing before I keep going. Exactly. But the truth is that you have to actually sometimes keep going, talk to a friend, reach out to someone about it. And talk about it. And talk about it. about it and get it off your chest. Get it off your chest and keep going. And then one day you're going to look back and be like, oh, I'm on the other side of that now. Exactly. But you don't have to stop yourself. You've just got to keep, keep going, going, keep writing keep through writing. it. Keep writing. Keep writing. Keep writing. Keep doing it. And that goes the same thing for anything, right? It's like, keep dancing. Keep interviewing. Keep studying. Keep painting. When you feel those voices of self-doubt, just keep going, and you will find yourself on the other side of it. Exactly. So I always ask my guests, Yes. Um, who do you think I should interview next? Ooh. But oh. I would love for you to put in a good word for <gasps> me. Yes. With one of your close friends. Yes. Taylor Swift. I will 100% do that for you because I feel like she would love to talk to you. I feel like she is a girl boss and you are such a girl boss that I feel like you guys would just have a blast and you would have such a great conversation. So I will totally do that. Oh my God, thank you. Of course. And thank you for coming and thank you for being no, awesome. No, thank you for being here and letting me sit down with you. Of course. And spending this special time with you. Absolutely. At 7 11, Miami girls represent. Yes. Guys, you already know, dreams are meant to be lived. Camila is living her music dreams, her little girl music dreams, That's at true. one album at a time. Bye. Bye.